Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can add and customize the load more button in your WordPress website. Instead of the default boring WordPress load more button, we're going to use a more aesthetic options. And that's why I'm going to be using the post text plugin. So first of all, I'm going to activate the post text plugin, installed and activate of course. Now let's add a load more button to one of our pages. I'm going to go to my home page. I'm going to edit the page. So now I'm in the home page. Scroll down. So let's say I want to add a load more button to this block. And you can add a load more button to any of post sixes, post grade, post list, and so on. So I'm going to select this block over here. And in the block settings, you can see the advanced pagination option. I'm going to enable advanced pagination. And you can see the pagination has been added to this block. And right now it's at pagination. I'm gonna to switch to load more. So here's a load more button. Now you can customize. You can custom you can basically customize everything. Let's start with the text. I'm gonna change it to read more. And let's change the alignment to center. There's also advanced CSS options if you like that. Now let's move to the style, the design end of things. First, we have the typography option. Right now, I'm using the global style. You can change the size, the family, spacing, and so on. Then there's different settings for hover and normal view. You can change the text color. Let's change the text color to pink. And the background color to a solid white. Now, now let's add a border to the button. Let's give it a one. And for the color, I'm gonna select the same color that we selected for the text. Now, then there's an option for shadows as well. Um, okay, let's keep a shadow. Let's keep it lighter. Yeah, something like that. There's option to adjust the padding and the margin as well. Now, this is our normal view. Now, let's switch to hover view. Let's keep the hover view text color to let's say yellow and the background color to black I don't want any border or drop shadow so I'm gonna keep it as it is and similar to the normal settings there are also option to change the to adjust the margin and padding in advanced CSS so I'm done over here. Let's see how it looks in the front end. So this is the front end of my website. Let's scroll down. And here's the read more button that we added. And as you can see, this matches with the aesthetics of our website compared to the regular WordPress load more button, which is kind of dull to be honest. So when I click on it, it expands. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about WordPress and even WooCommerce. And also click the bell icon. Thank you.